Hi everyone, hope we all are in good hands and just doing a review on my 1.6 military collection I have and some questions I had on the comments about brands and quality and which brand is better and I'll go with that first I'm going to do a quick uh, review on the military figures I have in my collection of the old days ones and the new modern ones that today dumb toys and soldiers story toy city playhouse and all these other brands they make now my first uh, gi joe figure that i started when i was a little younger uh, i still kept one of them and still in a good shape that's where I started my 1.6 military figures. Um, it's from the 80s, the G.I. Joe classic collection of winter, uh, cold weather, our U.S. Army. I have uh, Hot Ties uh, military. They came out after... Uh, um, the war started in Iraq and Afghanistan and those places. Then Hot Toys first started the military figures. That they were good in their days and they had a good quality. But then they stopped and went for Hollywood uh, version, uh, Hollywood movies. We have a soldier story, U.S. Army Ranger in Afghanistan here. Uh, it's a good figure. I kept this one. For my collection and that's the dragon brand figures that they came out after like um, 2007 2005 that time they were good for the days but today lots of other figures came out and it got developed so most uh, chinese companies brands they make more better details compared to those days so it's a big uh, military sales on this 1.6 figures at the moment this was a dragon figure on the 2005 those days Alva uh, showing my collection of my guns and uniforms I kept it during the time on my collection uh, apparently I use it for my kit bashers when I want to make a different style, different uh, uh, different type of figures. I can use all from these collection I, I kept for the years. We'll go on kit bashers a little bit later. I'm just going to review on my um, figures that I have. That I'll start from this guy. It's a DID Afghan civilian fighter that you can find in eBay and some other companies that are saying it's a good figure to to collect. It has lots of details. You can change the uniform, the RPG it has. The only thing DID has a lack on its figures, it's just the, the hands are very breakable. They're not too much good quality as damn toys or soldier story has it's a little bit uh, hard to put in and out the hands and they they don't bend too much so you have to be careful with that british army u.s uh, british army in afghanistan from uh, damn toys it's a good figure we had it uh, for a while there was two versions that came out and this one is my favorite i collect there's a Navy SEAL from the old days. I kept it. I think, I believe it's from uh, Dragon Company. And we have the KSK from Dam Toys that recently came out. Very nice uh, figure for collectors. I like it. You can do lots of kit bashes from the uniform. I put a review on my videos early last year about that. My favorite one is the Div Girl uh, Soldier Story Team Leader. That's 
one of the good works of Soldier's Story brand I like and has very great details, very realistic, very quality-wise uh, uniform. It's a very nice figure that I kept it for years and uh, lots of details. Now I'm going to go through if Soldier's Story is better or Dam Toys quality-wise or is, uh, how good they are. I'll just do a quick review on that. This is the Dam Toys, uh, same Div Guru. Uh, it's the K9 handler from Dam Toys. If you see the quality, they're both good good quality, but I still go for Soldier's Story because the uniform and uh, gear and all the uh, guns and everything is so realistic, more better details. Dam Toys also have it, but on the Div Guru, I'll go for the Soldier Story because there's more details on it and more quality wise is good. These two brands, they have a same regular price like 240 US, 270 US when they come out. They have a competition, they make uh, one each other, but they have lots of gears and details on it, so that's good. And you have uh, the Soldier Story FBI. And here's the dragon from the old days. So if you look at the details and uh, quality wise. So they all changed time period. They got more better, more modern, more uh, detail. Playhouse uh, Seal Team 10 I have here. I kept it. It's one of my favorites. Lots of details, but Playhouse stopped making their military figures because they can't compete Dam Toys and Soldier Story and these other companies. DID has lots of good uh, figures, very good detail. This is the SAS British uh, military figure. It's very cool details. The problem with the hands and the body of the figure, it's more little hard. It's a uh, you can easily break the hands or if you want to change the uniform and stuff. This is Toy City, um, Greenberry US. It's a good figure. Same thing, the quality wise, they can compete Dam Toys and Soldier Story. But they're nice figures. I, I kept all one of these brands in my co military collection. And as you see, there's the famous. Uh, Russian Spetnaz uh, Alpha Group from Dam Toys. I like this figure. Very nice details on it. The shoes, everything on this figure is perfect. I like it. Has lots of gear, lots of stuff, and it's worth it for the price if you're gonna buy it. You can always do some kit bashes on it. The AK, new AK is so good. It has another little submachine gun in the back there it's very good detail lots of stuff on this figure and here's the delta force on dam toys it's one of the kind very nice great modern i like the details on it and the famous pmcs from dam toys with the mill gibson face lots of details lots of gear very cool uh, work on it you get lots of stuff for uh, with this figure and we have the Marine Raiders on the back, Soldier Story. That's a good deal. You can get two uniforms with that figure and lots of stuff. You can do kit bashes with the, with the rest of it. What I like on these figures, when you buy two, three of them, like the good ones from Dam Toys Soldier Story, you always can do other switches with the uniforms. You just have to buy a spear uh, uh, plane figure. And it can it can make your own kit bashes like a special force or any other figures you want to make. This is Dam Toys, um, the Ghost series. It's a very nice figure. I, I kept this one. Lots of details. You can do lots of stuff on this figure also. Playhouse uh, U.S. Marine Iraq version. And uh, we we'll go back on the kit bash. I had questions like uh, we make some more. I'll put a video how to do a kit bash. And that will be on my next video. So hope this video gives some details for you.